Hey, Erin Knight here, founder of Engineering Radiance and creator of the Four Step Migraine Freedom Program. I decided to jump on today because I'm sitting here at home about to run a functional lab on myself, which I always think is a good opportunity to share with you a little bit about what it is and what it's about. So the one I'm going to do today is called a GI map. It is a um, gut pathogen test. So I've got the box here right at home, right here. And sometimes people ask me like, how, how can you find these things out just by doing at home testing? And it's really simple. They just mail you um, the kit and then it includes a, a sh shipper, so the postage is already included in the whole um, deal. So you take a little sample, it has all the supplies you need, like gloves and, and sample containers and stuff like that. And then when it's done, you just can either drop it off at the FedEx or have them pick it up. And that's all there is to it. Then it takes about two or three weeks to get the results back. And when it comes back, if you're working with us, you'll sit down and look um, in detail, like how to understand the test for yourself. And of course, what to do about it. But we really want to educate you on, you know, why these things can pop up um, in your case um, and how to prevent them happening again. Because the fact is we're exposed to pathogens like opportunistic bacteria and parasites on a regular basis from everything from eating in restaurants where maybe the people didn't wash their hands well enough or, you know, I've heard of these things on, on doorknobs, swimming pools. We're, the fact is we're exposed to question is really more about how to up our defenses. So improving our immune system, improving our uh, gut function. So do we have enough stomach acid? Do we have healthy bacteria? All of those kinds of things so that we're not susceptible to reinfection. And you might be wondering, okay, Erin, you work, mainly work with people with headaches and migraines. What does that have to do with gut health? Well, it has everything to do with gut health because if you have um, inflammation in the gut or some kind of bacterial overgrowth, just simply that, it will impact the way that you digest and assimilate your nutrients, for example. So it can lead to nutrient deficiencies. Um, it can lead to part of, it can be part of the cause of your overall inflammation. If let's say you have a parasite and okay, it's eating and metabolizing and putting up byproducts. Well, your body has to like work extra hard to process all of that out. And it just slows down your detox pathways or detox capacity for all the other things that are exposed to and air pollution, water pollution, all that stuff. So it's just one more thing that makes your body under stress and have to work that much harder. So I'm finding consistently with people who have headaches or migraines, but they don't necessarily have gut issues that there's still something going on in their gut. Um, this test is unique because um, if you just run a stool test that your doctor ordered, the thing is they look at the sample under a microscope and they may or may not visually detect eggs, worms, and things like that. You know, it's gross to think about, but that's what they do. They look and and the detection rate is really low. So um, they're, I would say that really hardly even worth running those. So what's different about this is it's looking for the um, trace DNA traces of different microorganisms, anything from... Again, um, viruses like rotavirus or norovirus, H. pylori, which a lot of people have and don't realize that's what's causing their um, acid reflux and, and things like that. Um, bacterial pathogens like C. difficile um, and then also like parasites. So the reason I'm running this personally is I had a parasite last year through all my travels and I, I think one bad episode of food poisoning I picked up, um, you know, was susceptible to picking things up and um, had an infection with blasto, which was no fun. <laughs> so I've been on a protocol, an herbal protocol to get rid of that. And now I'm retesting to see if that's gone, see what, if anything else is still um, a problem. And the other cool markers that are on this test that I find really helpful when working with people is we get an indication of um, if your body's having any trouble digesting fats and how your um, pancreatic enzyme levels are and things like that. So that's important to kind of fine tune and optimize your digestion. If we can see that there's a, a problem on there, taking some digestive enzymes for a little while while you get everything else in order, it could be helpful. Um, and then there is a marker. It's not the you know end all be all of gluten sensitivity testing, but there is a marker of your immune reaction to gliadin, which I often see is high for people that didn't know they had any kind of issue with gluten, and that'll be the catalyst for at least doing a trial and taking it out, and um, that helps a lot with their 
ends up helping a lot with their headaches. So as you can see, you get a lot of information. Sometimes people um, will ask another question is like, is this available internationally? And it is, but I ask that you contact us first because we need to arrange that you get a shipping quote, but generally it is um, possible. And um, yeah, I, th I think that's about it. If you have more questions, just email me at Aaron at engineeringradiance.com and I'm happy to um, you know, connect you with the opportunity to do this or answer any more questions that you have. And I hope that you found this informational and even if you think it's a little bit gross, the information that you'll gain from this, the healing opportunities that you'll gain from doing this is uh, critical to having <laughs> full you know, full healing capacity in your body and to overcoming something like migraine headaches. So it's really important and um, hope you'll take a look at it.